coming up on this October edition of Hawkeye News. We take a look at a sixth grade student at Red Oak Intermediate, Richard Prieto, who walked over 10 miles this past summer for a good cause. It's a special congratulations to a student in our district who has gone above and beyond the call of duty. Plus, we introduce a new segment called the Elementary Report. Each month we'll bring you highlights and information from Eastridge, Red Oak, Shields, and Wooden Elementary Schools. Teachers and staff members submit these stories and you can only see them here on Hawkeye News. Also, one of the biggest events of the year is the annual homecoming celebration. The event was once again the highlight of the evening as many came to see the crowning of the homecoming king and queen for 2004. We'll tell you who the big winners were and all the details straight ahead. Congratulations to Coach Danfield on another milestone in his outstanding coaching career at Red Oak High School. The Lady Hawks took on the Ennis Lady Lions at home in what turned out to be the 500th victory for Coach Stanfield as the coach of the Lady Hawks. Highlights of the award and an emotional tribute to Coach Stanfield coming up. And finally, the race to the White House continues to get even more interesting as the country watches the candidates in some heated debates. Once again, we'll take a look at the latest CNN polls and an update on the 2004 presidential election. All coming up on this spectacular Halloween edition of Hawkeye News. You're watching Hawkeye News with Christian Henson, Natalie Hillary, Sports with Brady Sapp, News coverage from the Junior High Bureau with Lexi Belote, plus academic and student life reports with our Hawkeye News team. Hawkeye News. Leadership you can depend on. Halloween edition of Hawkeye News for October 2004. I'm Christian Henson. And I'm Camille Webster. Natalie's on assignment. It's Halloween time again here at Hawkeye News, and we have lots of fun activities to report as well as interesting stories to share. That's right, and before we get started with this month's haunting headlines, I want to take a sneak peek at this year's feature Halloween story. We go now to Hawkeye News anchor Natalie Hillary, who is on assignment this month, and brings us some coolish information on local Halloween events taking place in and around Ellis County this year. Natalie? Thanks Christian and Camille, and happy Halloween to all of our viewers of Hawkeye News. I'm in Walks Hatchie this month, standing in front of the Ultimate Munsters Collectible. It's a replica of the house that was seen in the hit TV series in 1960s called The Munsters. Located here on this two acre lot on Farm Road 813 south of Dallas, we'll take an inside look and show you some amazing features of this house. Plus we'll have information on the third annual Munster Mansion Halloween party that will benefit CASA of Ellis County. Also, we'll have details on two other Halloween attractions taking place in Ellis County. First, the Haunted House at Reindeer Manor is celebrating 30 terrifying years of family fun. With a truly haunted past, they are one of the first and oldest haunted attractions in the Dallas area. The Haunted House is bigger, better, and scarier than ever before during its 30th anniversary season. We'll also have information on the world's largest Halloween theme park, Screams. It's a must for Halloween fans. 
We'll have all the details on these stories, plus much more coming up later in the show. Christian and Camille, back to you. Thanks, Natalie. We look forward to that coming up later in our show. And also, we'll have some tips on how to make Halloween a safe and fun holiday for trick-or-treating. Once again, Hawkeye News is committed to bringing you more news and stories from all across the district as well as in the community with our extended team coverage. The Texas Department of Agriculture has issued a Texas Public School Nutrition Policy to promote a healthier environment in our schools. I'm Tamara Luan at Red Oak High School. Coming up, I'll have details on specific concerns regarding the nutrition policy and tell how it has changed things in cafeterias across the district. After several years without the program, the Red Oak Police Department has joined with Officer Byron Hopkins of the Red Oak ISD Police Department to offer students an inside look at law enforcement as a law enforcement explorer. I'm Curtis Kelsey in Red Oak. Coming up on this edition of Hawkeye News, we'll take an in-depth look at this program. With hunting season just around the corner, many students and their parents may be looking forward to spending some cool weekends in the woods hunting deer and other animals. While hunting can be a fun sport for some, it can also turn very deadly if you don't know what you're doing with a rifle. I'm J.D. Foster. We'll take a closer look at some tips everyone needs to know before putting on that hunting vest this year. Details coming up later in our show. Hello, Red Oak ISD. It's time once again for this month's junior high interview. This month, a great accomplishment by one student who, without witnesses, might have just been called another wild fish story. He caught a huge bass at Richland Chambers Lake near their family lake house. I'm Lexi Below, coming up. Find out how much the big fish weighed and how he caught it. But first, back to Christian and Camille for this month's top stories.